Gen AI is shaping how businesses are going to make decisions, and IT is going to be the people who figure out how to best do that. Data is the most important thing to AI. The data we have right now is pretty big, and it's going to get really big. I think it changes the role of IT, and I think it changes the role of the CIO. When we first bought this house, there wasn't really anything structural that needed to be rebuilt. We lived in it for five years and it was fantastic, but it started to not meet our needs as to where our lives were growing. And so we took the roof off this house and we put the third floor. And what I see in businesses is that happens all the time. Five years later, if the company's grown, the frame that you started with probably isn't big enough to support what the business needs to do. One of the things that Gen AI is going to do is it's going to put a pressure point on a lot of the decisions we made in the past. The promise of generative AI is the ability to take non-cleaned data and form it in a way that generates an answer, which is the answer I need. The one thing we haven't done in Gen AI yet is we haven't gotten into what I call the financial model. So to me, there's three legs to the stool. One is everybody's got to put Gen AI in their toolkit. It's going to happen. The second one is what we're all doing, which is optimization efficiencies, and we're applying it across the board. The leg we haven't yet pulled on is what I call the strategic financial one, which is I'm making a strategic decision in my business about what I'm going to buy, build, sell, invest in. If I'm in a company and I'm wanting to do a merger and an acquisition, it's going to come down to am I 0 0.2, 0 0.1 different? That's going to become a very big differentiator. It's about the accuracy of the information. And the only way you get that correct answer is if you've got precision in the search elements that you found within your data. And if your search engine is better, and if your data is a little bit better, they're going to be at a strategic advantage. When it comes time to fix something, having the right tool is probably the number one thing. Let's start to think about what tools I can use in multiple spots. Think about what are the core capabilities you need, what are the challenges going to be, and what do I want to do? Because I think the biggest opportunity slash challenge for a CIO is, is your search engine able to take this data that is unstructured and differentiated and actually bring it to a point that is able to articulate and find the right pieces of data in order to drive the precision that drives the right answer for you? Now, all of a sudden, I can have a lot better analysis and I'm going to be able to project and I'm going to be able to see the patterns and I'm going to be able to get out in front of it. And if you don't, you're going to end up with a sprawl that you're going to have to deal with in two years, which is going to be so much bigger than any sprawl you could ever comprehend. I am 100% convinced how you manage that data and how you get information out of that data is going to be the differentiator. One could argue this will enable the CIO to be the most critical person sitting at the table.